Hey, it's Horner again, and we're going to take a look at going in and creating an assignment using Delta Math within Canvas. You'll want to go to the Assignments link on the side, and any assignments that you have will be here. We'll want to go in and click the blue Add Assignment. At this point, we'll do our assignment name, and so I'm just going to call this Intro to Algebra. Uh, you can put in a description if you want to, and then let's just make this four points. The assignment group will be whatever group you want to put that in, uh, whatever you've determined your assignment groups are, and then you can display the grade as either points, percentage, complete, and complete, and all the other things. For the submission type, you'll want to go to External Tool, and then when it says Enter or Find an External Tool URL, just go ahead and uh, just select the box and then click Find. And then you'll scroll down until you see Delta Math. Go ahead and click Select. And once you do that, it will tell you Delta Math and you'll see this LTI and Launch. If you want the tool to open up in a new tab, you can go ahead and click the box. Otherwise, it will open up within Canvas and that's up to you. Remember, you can choose the number of attempts that you want students to have on this assignment, and then whether or not it will sync to PowerSchool. You'll want to choose a due date for sure, and you'll also want to go in and choose how long that will be open and when it's available from, and I'm just doing this just so we can see it. At that point, you want to click Save, and when you click Save, it will then show you, it says this tool needs to be loaded in a new browser window, and we want to actually open up Delta Math now. So we're going to click, and that will take us into Delta Math, where we can create either a new standard assignment or create a new test. Uh, we can link to an existing assignment. We can copy an assignment or create a new test correction. So we're going to do just a new standard assignment here. When we do that, we also want to make sure that we've picked the course that we want. So remember, just do uncheck all and go down, click on the topic that you want uh, or the course you want, and then you'll want to start going through and looking for the questions that you want. So here, let's do solving one of uh, variable equations, and we'll click two-step equations. Remember, problem types will then break it down into the subtypes. So here we've got a couple of different subtypes. Let's go ahead and just assign this question itself. Once you do that, you'll notice it'll say remove problem. So let's say we've assigned it. Well, we don't really want it. You just say remove problem, and it will remove the problem. Then uh, we can go to, let's say we want another one with the same type to say similar problem and then say assign this problem. Now we've got two questions so far. We're going to say new problem and let's change it to the next type. And we're going to assign this one and then let's choose a similar problem and say I don't like that one. I can do another one. And oh, there, I like that one. That one's better. So now I'm going to assign that one. When you're done, uh, remember we said four points. We're just going to do one point for each one. We're going to say back. And uh, we're going to check the name. So it's Intro to Algebra. That's what we named it within the uh, in, in Canvas. Uh, it says post assignment. And you can do immediately, not now, or PDF only, specific time, or staggered by period. So that's totally up to you. Um, I would encourage you to create a folder to put these in. If you teach multiple classes, like for this one, it says Unit 1. That was in my geometry, so I probably need to go back and rename this folder. So here I'm going to say New Folder, and I'm going to call this Algebra 1, and then I'm going to call it uh, Unit 2. Let's We'll just say it's in that. You can give these a time limit. Uh, if you say limited, you have to tell it exactly how much time. So we're going to go back and say no limit. Uh, you can either show solutions or not. You can do it on incorrect or on correct only or not show them at all. Uh, student work upload. Uh, you can have them upload their work. So when you turn this on, 
they will be prompted to upload their work. You can download it and take a look at it so they could take a picture of it and then upload it. Uh, we're going to leave that off for right now. The help uh, videos, you can turn those on and off, totally up to you. And then you can hide the assignment after due. So uh, that's a yes or a no. And remember these little question marks on the side uh, will talk a little bit more about what each one of these mean. The grade passback time. So if you leave it at the due date and we made the due date at midnight tonight, it will not enter the scores into Canvas until that time. You can choose uh, at due date, after 15 minutes, or manual passback only, which means that you have to sync it with Canvas. So I'm going to just choose uh, after 15 minutes. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to look at the skills. The skills will show you that we've used four two-step equation problems. You do not have to have them see an example, so you can actually turn that off. You can give it a weight, so if uh, we want to, we could double the weight for one of them or half the weight, up to you. And then how many attempts a student will get on that. Uh, you'll see uh, all these different other options down on the bottom. We're going to skip those for right now. If you click on due dates, there's the due date that we put into Canvas. You probably do not want to change this unless you change it in Canvas. Uh, that might create a problem. So uh, anyway, that's kind of what you'll see. If you click on any of these, it will not bring up the problem itself. Uh, it just tells kind of what it is, but you can move them around. So if I want to, uh, I can change the order for those if I want to. And then it gives an estimated time for this assignment of about five minutes. When I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and just click on Create Assignment. And it will say the assignment is created successfully. I click OK, and I am done. The other thing that you can do is you can print. So you can go to Print Settings. And then if you want to print these out uh, so that you can give them to kids, you sure can. You can also download them, and they could do them in Kami. Uh, or any other program where they can show their work. So that's totally up to you. You can also print an answer key if you would like. So totally up to you. They do have uh, different versions here. So if you want to make a new version, you sure can. Uh, they have different headers that you can put in. Um, student workspace, you can give them more workspace or you can give them less workspace. Totally up to you, however you want to do that. You can also do a QR code for solutions. Now, uh, if you do that, then um, they can pull up the solutions and see them. And then if you just say answer key only, it will just give the single letter answer or single number answers. Um, so maybe for this one, let's just say the answer was A is equal to 12. Uh, it'll just give that, won't give the full solution itself. Okay. When you move the questions, you can also move them here. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to do, so kind of up to you, however you want to do that. And uh, other than that, I think that's it. You can also add some custom directions if you want to add those. Uh, but the, the point here is to try to uh, have kids practice. And so if they need the paper copy to do this, that's fine. If not, uh, the only downside of that is uh, students will be having the same questions. So now you've got uh, somebody do it and then somebody else copy it. So might be an easier way to do it. You can return back to the assignment again, but it is in there now. Um, and I'm going to go back to uh, Canvas. And then here is where that assignment lives again. So I'm going to go back to home. And then if I want to go back to that assignment again and, and uh, change it at all, I sure can. Make sure that you publish the assignment. Uh, super easy to do. And then you can go back into the assignment if you want to. You can edit the assignment settings. So that is the Canvas settings. Or you can go back in and you can load this again. And you can look at that uh, and modify that assignment. So totally up to you how you want to do it. And that is how to add an assignment.